so good morning friends so in the continuation of my previous lecture for the calculation of beam warping and sectional warping machine so in my previous lecture i have discussed about the calculation of beam warping in this lecture i will discuss uh, calculation regarding the sectional warping machine so as you all know that sectional warping machine it produces direct viewers beam but here the intermediate process is sections so in case of beam warping machine we produce warpers beam but in case of sectional warping machine we have to produce sections so all these sections they have fraction of warp thread in sections but the density of ants remains same as weaver's beam so here uh, in in case of sectional warping machine we prepare small small sections of warps and then finally we combine all these sections and create a weaver's beam so with the a small example i will explain how we can calculate read space tape length number of sections required and number of ants required to produce a section so here we need read space tape length number of sections required section width and free so let us take a small example calculate the number of sections required to produce a weaver's beam on sectional warping machine with following fabric particulars the fabric particulars are width of fabric let's see 54 inches length of fabric 5000 meters ants per inch 62 reel capacity 320 crimp and warp and waft 5000 so by these particulars now we have to calculate 
weave space as you all know the formula that is fabric width multiply by print so here the fabric width is 54 inches 1 plus crimp 100 so here crimp is 5 percent so that is 54 1 plus uh, 54 1 point zero five then that is equal to Six point seven. Now the tape length five thousand. That is our fabric length one plus crimp. That is five thousand multiplied by one point zero five. That is equal to five two five zero meters. Now the section widths, section widths uh, we have to uh, calculate by the uh, quill capacity. Now the total number of ends we have that is our fabric width multiplied by ends per inches. And that is 54 multiplied by API 62 and that is equal to 3348 that is our total number of ends now we have to calculate the number of sections required to produce a uh, weaver's beam so here we have the creel capacity 320 which is our maximum creel capacity and the total number of ends we have 3348 so total number of ants divided by creel capacity we will get a idea of how many sections we need to produce so we have, we have 3348 number of ants divided by our creel capacity that is uh, 320 so this is approximately it is coming 10.46 so we can keep it 11 so 3348 divided by 11 this will give us 304.36 so here we can uh, keep uh, 305 and 5 ends in one section Three hundred and five ends in one section. If we multiply it with the eleven, and then it comes three three five five. So seven ends are increasing. So in case of ten sections, we will use three hundred and five ends. But in case of at the last section, we can use three hundred. Uh, 298 ends because here uh, 7 ends are increasing so we can produce 11 sections with the uh, sorry 10 sections with the 305 ends and for the last section we can reduce the number of ends to get the 3348 number of ends in our Weaver's beam. So our number of sections that are 11. Now the section width. Section width we can calculate by dividing 
read space by number of sections. So our read space is 56.7 inches divided by 11. So it comes 5.18 inches. So this is this section and uh, section width, number of ants in one section that is equals to 305. So by this way we can calculate the number of sections, number of ants in one section, read space and tap length in case of sectional roping machine. Thank you friends. So I'll discuss calculation and efficiency of beam warping and sectional warping machine in my next lecture. Thank you.